Today we're going to make macaroni salad. Now I'll be honest with you guys, growing up macaroni salad did not sound appetizing at all. At all. I stayed away from it up until about a year ago. And it was actually pretty good. I don't know what I was scared of. But macaroni salad is actually pretty darn good. So I've got the ingredients laid out. we got some prep work to do. So let's get started here on Cook! Don't be lazy! The first thing we want to do is cut up some veggies. Half a green bell pepper, half a red bell pepper. Green onion, also known as scallion. Nah, about that much. Carrot. Now carrots are naturally hard and crunchy when, it, when it's not cooked. So try to cut them as thin as possible or grate it if you have a grater. Grater, grate, grater, G-R-A-D-E-R, -E or is it G-R-A-T-E-R? -E Sorry, G-R-A-T-E-R. -E Stay in school. All right, celery. I used about two sticks of celery, and I'm not talking about those sticks you get when you buy hot wings. I'm talking about full-blown celery, two sticks. Now, get a large mixing bowl. Real mayonnaise. It actually says real because it ain't fake. Don't be using that fake mayonnaise stuff. You know what I'm talking about. We're going to get, I don't know, about that much, which is roughly a cup or so. Mustard. A good squirt of it. Distilled white vinegar. Now, if you have it, you can use rice vinegar, but this one's more expensive and not everybody has that. You're more likely to have the white vinegar, so that's what I'm going to use. Not to be confused with cleaning vinegar. I don't know how much that was, but that much. You guys got to remember, I eyeball things here. For a little heat, cayenne pepper. Maybe that's a little too much heat. We'll find out. All right. You know what? I almost forgot one thing. Woo, I can feel my nose burning already. Some sugar. One, two, three little spoonfuls, little spoonfuls, spo little spoonfuls of sugar. Mix this in. All right, we're kind of looking kind of for like a gravy consistency. Throw in your veggies. No particular order. Get it all in there. Now the green onion, the scallion, I'm not going to throw all of them in there. I'm going to save some for garnishment. Got to make it look pretty at the end. Stir this in. Just about done. Salt. And that's going to be to taste. And some pepper. Black pepper. A couple of puffs, again, to taste. Get that stirred in. Only takes a second. And let's get this guy in the fridge. Now, you'll notice I didn't cover it up. The reason being, it's only going to be in the fridge for a few minutes while we cook our pasta. Let's get to that. Get yourself a pot of water. Set your stove on high. And let's wait for this to come to a boil. So we're basically going to cook this per the instructions. So we're going to use elbows. Water's boiling. Salt it. Plenty of salt. We're going to cook this for about 8 minutes according to the instructions on the box. 
eight minutes in, quick stir, and let's get this drained. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit here draining until it cools off room temperature. Every now and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little shake to try to get some of that excess water out of the little holes of these elbows. So a little shake every couple of, I don't know, every five, 10 minutes, I'll come in and give it a little shake. And we want this room temperature, so let's let that cool off. So once you feel the pasta is room temperature, go ahead and take your dressing out of the fridge. Give it a quick stir. Bring your pasta over. Dump it in. And we're just gonna stir and get all the pasta coated with that yummy dressing. Once you think it's well mixed, take some plastic wrap. And I hate this stuff. I absolutely hate it. I might need two, two batches. One more. I think I have just enough. Cover up your macaroni salad. Go ahead and get this guy into the fridge. I know we want to eat right now, but you got to hold off. Minimum four hours so that those flavors can melt. You wait six hours, eight hours, it's going to taste even better. The longer it's in the fridge, melding, is that even a word? Melding, those flavors melding, the better it's going to taste. The only thing we got left is wait. So in about four hours, it's gonna be time to plate up. Four hours later and bam, I'm fixing to chow down on some macaroni salad. If you like the recipe, hit that subscribe button. I put out a video each and every single week. Right now, I've earned this, so I'm gonna eat. I'll see you guys next week here on Cook! Don't be lazy.